Halloween is one of our favorite holidays, and one fun tradition that we've come up with over the last couple of years is to visit Norco's Pumpkin Rock. There are two different routes that you can take when hiking to Pumpkin Rock. You can take the route that begins at Pikes Peak Park that has a distance of 1.8 miles, or you can take the shorter route that starts in the middle of a neighborhood and is about 9 tenths of a mile long. One cool thing about this hike is that it would be pretty hard to get lost because you can see the pumpkin from pretty much the second you hit the trail. V and I think that the longer version of this trail, which we are doing in this video, gives you more bang for your buck because there are a couple of other cool things to see along the way. This route starts with you taking a nearly one tenth of a mile walk up 6th Street until you get to this gate. Please note that there is a sign here that says that this gate will be closing at sunset. I'm not exactly sure how serious they are about this because we stayed up at the top and watched the sunset and then hurried back down, but I just don't want to see anyone get locked out. Even though this trail is fairly short, it has no shortage of elevation gain, and you can expect to climb around 380 feet on your way up to the pumpkin. As I said before, there are lots of cool things to check out along the way, and the first one that you'll come up to is this neat art installation that is a large USA made out of lights. I'm not sure if it's actually working because we didn't see it lit up either on the way in or the way out, but it was still pretty cool to see. Just up the trail from the large USA was a familiar sight for us. As we crested the hill, we saw six large metal horses and instantly recognized them as the work of our old pal Ricardo Brissetta. You may be more familiar with his other work that is located all over the town of Anza Borrego. If you haven't been out there, you definitely need to pay his sculptures a visit and you can find out all the information about that on our website. I think that V's favorite of the horses would definitely have to be the baby horse, and it was pretty dang cute. After leaving the horses, it is back to climbing, but don't worry because it is a short hill and you have a little bit of a break coming up. This is where the long trail and the shorter trail meet up. The shorter trail is probably going to be a good option if you're not a super strong hiker or if you want to take small kids to visit the pumpkin. Even though you're saving yourself a little bit of distance by taking the shorter route, you are not going to be able to avoid the climb. After this somewhat flat section, you're going to be getting to one of the steepest parts of this hike. I would definitely recommend bringing shoes with plenty of traction because there were slippery spots on both the way up and the way down. This is far from the steepest mountain that V and I have ever climbed, but it is one heck of a good workout. We both found ourselves breathing quite heavily as we made our way up towards the top. Luckily we had the pumpkin staring down at us to give us a little bit more motivation. Here's a fun fact about the pumpkin rock, it was not always a pumpkin. In fact, it's been a couple of different things in the past. At one point it was painted like a Christmas ornament, and at another time it was painted like the old 76 gas station ball. But ever since the mid 90s, it has remained the pumpkin rock. It appears that the locals are determined to keep it that way as well, because every once in a while someone comes up and slaps a new coat of paint on him. He was actually looking a lot better this time than the last time that we saw him. The last push to the top is one of the steepest and most rutted up sections of this trail. If you are planning on coming up here to watch the sunset, it might not be a horrible idea to bring a headlight with you. We made our way back down to the car while we still had daylight, but it would be pretty tricky trying to find your way down these hills in the dark. Even though I'm sure some people consider the pumpkin rock itself to be graffiti, it was kind of sad to see that there is so much spray painting on the rocks that are surrounding it. If you decide to visit, please do not add to the taggings, clean up after yourself, and practice leave no trace principles. If you plan on taking that awesome pumpkin selfie, just know that there might be a little bit of a line, especially if you're visiting during sunset. The one good thing about that is that you might be able to find someone to trade with you and take your picture if you take theirs. If you visit on a clear day, you'll have a really nice 360 degree view from the top, and you may even be able to see a second pumpkin rock way off in the distance. After taking in a really nice sunset, it was time to say see you next year to the Pumpkin Rock and continue on our way. In addition to the short and long trail options, there's actually a third option, and that is to do what is known as a lollipop loop. This means that the bottom section of the trail all the way up to the USA sign is the same, and there's an added loop up at the top. To add to the Halloween magic, on the way down we were surrounded by a seemingly never-ending horde of crows. I'm not exactly sure where they were heading, but it was definitely a cool addition to the hike. Besides the one fairly steep part that you saw a second ago, taking this way back will give you a much more gradual decline. It'll probably be quite a bit less slippery too. 
We even saw a couple of people taking this route to go up to the pumpkin. Just know that if you do that, even though it is less steep, it is relentless and there's no break in the middle. Soon enough, you will find yourself back at the USA sign. You can see right here where it drops you right back onto the main trail. As soon as we got back on the main trail, it was time to pick up the speed. We had definitely stayed a little bit past sunset and we were hoping that that gate wasn't going to be locked. We were definitely relieved when we rounded that last corner and saw that the gate was still open. Well that is going to do it for our video about the hike to Pumpkin Rock. We hope that everyone has a fun, awesome, and safe Halloween. If you enjoy our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for all the information about the hike to Pumpkin Rock as well as other awesome adventures, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.